Hi everyone, Kate from Crocoblock is here and I've got a question for you. Have you ever thought of creating a custom stock status badge and then displaying it on your website alongside the other product information? Well, if you've got an online store, I'm pretty sure you did. And the first thing that would come into your mind is actually purchasing the custom stock status plugin that will help you to communicate this important information to your customers. But if you are a Crocoblock user and Jet Engine is on the list of most used plugins of yours, or if you happen to come across Jet Engine just recently, I can say for sure that this plugin will help you to save $49 annually. Today, in this short video tutorial, I will show you how to create a custom stock status badge with the help of Jet Engine Dynamic Visibility Module. Oh, hey, don't be a grumpy Grinch and show us some love in the comments as well as like our videos, okay? So, in order to show a custom stock status, you need to have two things. First, a product, the stock status of which has been set up in the product data. So either it's in stock, out of stock, on back order, or you can as well manage the stock precisely if you want to specify the number of items in stock and other settings. And second, dynamic visibility for widgets and sections module has to be enabled in the Jet Engine dashboard. Okay, let's hop into the single product page template to start creating the badges. And actually, I decided to show you how to create five most used stock status badges. But if you have other ideas, please feel free to share them in the comments below and we'll think what we can do about that. Okay, let's start with the in stock badge. I actually want to show not just the stock status like in stock, but also to display the number of products available for purchase. So let's search for the dynamic field widget and drop it onto the canvas. In the source of this widget, we'll need to select metadata from the list. And in the custom meta field, we'll need to specify the field name, which is underscore stock. Also, it'll be good to customize the field output a little bit, right? So I'll make it show the number of items in bold and add items in stock text after it. Now let's proceed to the style settings and style it a little bit to make it look nicer. So typography will be mollish, size 13 pixels, weight 500, and transform uppercase. Background color will be green and text color will be white. I'll align the widget to the right and set padding to 5 at the top and bottom and 10 at right and left. Ok, so the badge is ready and now the only thing that we need to do is set up the dynamic visibility conditions. Let's open Advanced tab and enable Dynamic Visibility. Condition type will be Show Element if Condition Met and add a condition greater than. In the field, we need to enter the field name, which is underscore stock and set the value to, let's make it 5. So basically, if there are more than 5 products available, this badge will be shown right near the product name. So let's update the template and check out the front end. There we go. Here's our stock status badge. Ok, but what if we just have a couple of items left and we want to let our customers know that this product will be out of stock shortly and they'd better hurry with their purchase if they don't want to miss it. In this case, let's create another badge for only a couple of 
items left. And by saying a couple, I mean that it will show the exact number of items available in the store as of now. Let's duplicate the dynamic field widget and change the field format to only in front of the number and items left after it. And as for the style settings, let's change the background color to orange. Great. Now proceed to the dynamic visibility section and change the value here to one. Duplicate the condition, change it here to less than and set the value to six. This way, it'll show the badge for the product, the quantity of which is between two and five. So if there are more items, then it'll show the in-stock badge. But if there are less items, like one, for example, it will not show the badge at all. Why? Because we want to create the third badge for the last item. We'll get to it in a minute. And right now, let's change the stock quantity to four, update the product and check out the front end. So let's refresh the page and there we go. Only four items left. Wonderful. So let's go back to the Elementor and create another badge for the last item. For this purpose, you can actually use any widget you like. As for me, I'll go for the button widget. So drop it onto the canvas change the text to hurry last item, align it to the right and style it to look like the previous ones. So typography, mullish, size 13 pixels, weight 500 and transform uppercase. Background color will be orange and text color white. Border radius will set to zero and padding to five at top and bottom and 10 at right and left. Now let's enable dynamic visibility. Choose the condition type, show element if condition met and add a condition equal. Enter the field name, underscore stock and set value to one. So once there is only one product left, we'll see this lovely badge on the product page. So let's update the template, go to the product settings and change the stock quantity to one. Update the product again and open the product page. Refresh it. And as we can see, it works perfectly fine. Okay, three badges are ready and we have two more to go, as I said in the beginning. So now let's go for the sold out badge. So let's go back to the Elementor and duplicate the button widget. Change the text to sold out and the background color to red. Now proceed to the dynamic visibility settings and change the existing condition. Previously, we displayed the stock status of the product according to the stock meta field, because we needed to know the number of products available. But now we will display this badge based on the stock status meta field. So in the field settings, let's enter underscore stock underscore status and in the value, enter out of stock with no spaces. Good. Update the template, change the product status to out of stock, save it, and go back to the front end. Refresh the page, and there we go. Now this product is not available for purchase. Okay, and last but not the least, let's create another badge for on back order status and call it coming soon. Jump back into the single product page template and duplicate the last widget. Change the text to coming soon 
and background color to blue. Next, go to the dynamic visibility settings and change the value of the condition to on back order without spaces again. Don't forget to update the template and change the status at the backend. Good. Now proceed to the front end and refresh the page to see the changes. Wonderful. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope it was useful. And if so, likes over there are more than welcome. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for handy tutorials and interesting overviews, as well as join our friendly Facebook community. Cheers, guys.